Hello, my name is Ms McFarlane. I'm head of the Creative and Performing Arts Faculty here at Devizes School. We're often referred to as Kappa, and in Kappa you can get taught art, drama, dance, music and photography. This session is a drama session. Now there's some real challenges teaching drama remotely, I'm sure you could imagine. I'm going to give it my best shot. I want you to get involved to the best of your ability. So let's give it a go. So let's start off with a warm up. Now, during the course of this session, I will say pause PowerPoint. Now, when I say pause PowerPoint, that is your opportunity to go away and do the exercises that I'm asking you to do. Now, exercise number one is you need to go and get yourself a, victim, a volunteer to help you. You just need one other person for this exercise. It's the only time you'll need somebody else. So please go and find somebody else now to help you. Pause PowerPoint. Hopefully, you now have your volunteer. Now, all you are going to do with your volunteer is count from one to three. But you're going to kind of do it like this. So I might say one, and the person opposite, opposite me, the other person I'm doing this with, will say two. Then I will say three. Then the person opposite me will say one. Then I will say two. They would say three. So we're going backwards and forwards with our counting. Start really slowly and see how fast you can get. So one two, three, one, two, three. Start slow and build up. Have a go, pause PowerPoint. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. It's a bit trickier than you think, isn't it? Especially when you start speeding it up. Let's see if we can make it a little bit easier. So instead of saying one this time, what I'm gonna ask you to do is I'm gonna ask you to replace one with a noise and a movement. So that noise could be any noise. Let's go with the time being with a sound of a donkey and me bowing. So I would bow and go, Ew! at the same time as bowing, and then the person opposite would say two, I would then say three, and they will then make the noise and the movement. So it's e or two, three, e or two, three. Have a go, pause PowerPoint. Okay, so hopefully you've had a go at doing that. So let's make it more interesting. Let's get rid of two, and let's replace two with a noise and a movement. So let's go with yeehaw, and then my movement's gonna be me slapping my thigh. So it should be e or ye ha three. E or ye ha three. Don't forget the movements, they are really important. Have a go. Pause PowerPoint. Brilliant. Now, obviously you just see what's coming. You're going to replace three with a noise and a movement. Have a go. Start slowly and build up some speed. Have a go. Pause PowerPoint. Brilliant. Okay, so hopefully now you've had a go at doing that. Now, if in theory, that actually should have got easier. When you started taking away the numbers and replacing it with movements and noise, in theory, that should get easier to do because we're actually making our brain work harder. We're making it work. And actually, that means we remember and process things better. So the reason why we do this is to show kids that actually when it comes to learning your lines, for example, I don't want you sat down with your script and just read over and over and over, say it out loud, read it over and over. That is not actually an effective way to learn your script. An effective way to learn your script is to get up, add movements, add gestures, so hand movements, add facial expressions. Think about the way you bring it alive with your voice. That will actually help you learn the lines better. Okay, so let's do our second warm up. Now this second warm up is not delivered by me. It's delivered by a very talented actor. So what I'd like you to do is quite simply watch the clip and have a go, copy what they do. Thank you, pause PowerPoint. Okay, so let's go into uh, the main body of the lesson, shall we? So the first part of that main body lesson is going to be using the voice. Now what I've got in front of you is three really benign, really boring sentences. We are gonna bring them alive, but we're gonna bring them alive in lots of different ways. And we're gonna show just by using our voice, we can totally change the meaning of something. So I would like you to have a go at delivering those three lines in different ways. Perhaps you're gonna do the first one rude and then sarcastic and then upset and then angry, surprised, disappointed, uh, frustrated, whatever it might be, have a go. See how the line changes. So let's have a go. So I might go, I wasn't expecting you here today. I'm gonna to do that really, really angry. I wasn't expecting you here today. But then I can totally change that meaning behind it by doing it in a happy way. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you here today. So actually, by the way we bring a line, the way we interpret a line can totally change its meaning. So what I'd like you to do, 
We spend about three or four minutes now having a go at bringing those three lines alive in your very own different way. Have a go. Pause PowerPoint. Okay, hopefully you've had a go and you've realised actually the way we use our voice is really important in drama because it can totally, totally change the, 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 the lines in the script and that's really quite an interesting thing to explore as an actor. We call it interpretation. It's you interpreting the script in the way you think is best for your character. Okay. Let's move on. The selfie challenge. Now, don't worry. I'm not asking you to send in uh, photos, etc. But what I'm going to ask you to do, though, for me is you've got it on your sheet in front of you for this session. You've got a little place where you can stick in photos either of yourself or of um, people you find on the Internet with these face expressions. I don't mind which way you do it. OK, you can have a go at doing it in the mirror as well, if you so wish. All I'd like you to do is using your facial expressions, I'd like you to deliver those seven different emotions. Really think about how you can communicate with your audience, how you can talk to your audience without speaking, how we can use our facial expressions, the way we use eye contact. Have a go. Think about how we could use our face to bring alive these emotions. Pause PowerPoint. OK, our next task. In front of you on your drama sheet, you've got a uh, section where you can write the meaning of key drama terms. Now, these terms in front of you are very important in drama, and they are the words that we drill into you within the first couple of weeks of being in a drama session, making sure you understand them so you can then use them in your own drama work. So I quite simply would like you to use the internet and research the key terms in front of you and in your own words don't just copy and paste off the internet in your own words write their meaning on the sheet provided pause powerpoint and finally i don't know about you but i am craving live experiences at this moment in time um, i'm craving getting out there and seeing things especially theater sitting in an auditorium with me puppets and watching really talented people bring alive shows that i would only can only dream of being in I can't do that at this moment in time, but there is a next best thing. Live theatre is online. People have recorded live shows online. They are everywhere. In your pack, there are links to some examples of this. Watch them. Please get out of there. See what it's all about. See the fuss. If you've never been to the theatre, there's an opportunity now to, to do it from the comfort of your own home for free as well. Honestly, once you get the bug, when it hits you, it's very difficult to, to shake off. So get out there and experience live theatre to the best of our abilities at this moment in time. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you've had a, um, you've enjoyed it. I hope it's been OK. Um, I look forward to properly meeting you, hopefully in September, and delivering some proper traditional drama lessons with you. Um, we are very passionate about our drama at Devizes School. We get very good results year in, year out. We're very successful and we look forward to you joining us our team and continuing that success over the next few years i hope to see you all very very soon take care thank you